Hi and welcome to the final webinar in the Petrasys Map Templates webinar series. My name is Benna Spinks and I am a support and training geoscientist with Petrasys based in the Perth office. Today we're going to be taking a look at using and managing your corporate standard map templates. Please note that this webinar is being recorded. If you wish to ask a question, please insert it into the text box and we'll take a look at the end of the webinar. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to have a little run through of the series so far. So we started the series with how to upgrade from your map sheets. So this was taking the map sheets in your pre-pro versions and upgrading them into the map templates for use with Petrus's Pro. We then went on and had a look at how you create style templates and then also creating extent templates. The previous webinar in the series to this one was on printing and plotting your map templates and in this webinar we're going to finally move on to how do you manage your map templates. So the first thing we need to do is we need to discuss what are corporate standard map templates. So these are essentially templates that you'd want to use when you've finished displaying all your data and you're ready to share your map or print it. So this is if you're going to pass your map on to a joint venture, onto your manager, or if you're going to print a hard copy. These are the templates that you would apply to your map so it's all nice and pretty and ready to go. So as previously discussed, there are two different types of templates. that are style templates and there are extent templates. When it comes to the style templates, you may have a small number of these, you may have a large number of these, but these will all be based on standard map elements such as your title blocks, your scale bars and your legends. And this is also where you'll find the display settings for your bounding box. So this will include things such as your layout details, any reference grids and also your Latin long and Eastern and northern annotations. When it comes to your extent templates, these are for applying set areas of interest. So if you have an area of interest that you wish to use again and again, you can create an extent template for this. So why might you want to use a corporate standard map template? These templates allow all of your maps to be subjected to a standard display so you can focus on the data. So all you essentially need to do is get your data on your map, get it looking how you wish, choose one of the corporate style standards and it's going to apply to your map and that's going to make everything look neat and tidy and be finalised for your printing or your sharing. So why do you need to manage these map templates? Well first off one of the biggest advantages of using map templates over map sheets is their ability to be managed. In the past when you've been using map sheets you may have found that you could have hundreds of different map sheets saved in one project. Using map templates you only really need a small number of standard templates required as these can be applied to multiple projects and multiple maps. They can also be made available at user, project and site level. So the user is yourself, the project is obviously your Petrus's project and site level is to all Petrus's users. So you can make these templates available at all three of these levels. So another reason to manage them is it helps to take the effort and confusion out of recreating maps. So you may have gone through the process in the past of creating a map, everything looks neat and tidy, you have your title blocks on there, any other map elements that you wish to display, and then you try to recreate it in another map and you have to start from scratch. Being able to save these map templates takes out this effort. And finally, not everyone needs to know how to create map templates, but everyone can use them. So you can essentially assign certain users to be allocated the permissions to administer the map templates. So you can have a group of people or one person who creates all these style templates and any extent templates that you want to use and they can be made available to everybody. So not everybody needs to know how to edit these. They just need to know how to access them and display them for the map. So there are multiple methods that have been set up for helping you to manage your map templates. The first one is the configuration settings. So this is under the tools menu in the main Petrus's launcher. There's a map templates option under there with a styles, extent and general tab. And under the styles there are some options you can toggle on in there that will help to either limit or not limit who can and what can be edited in relation to your style templates. The second option is the group permission administration. So this relies on settings in the configuration settings. So anything that's been toggled on in there 
if you're added into the group that allows administrative map template rights, any options that have been toggled already do not apply to you. So basically you can edit any of the map templates as you wish. The third option is to manually create, edit, delete and share templates from within mapping. So this is taking the pre-existing mapping templates, any new map templates and being able to delete them from your project, your site or for your user. Okay, so the easiest way to show you this is probably just going to move on to the demo. So I'm just going to move into Petrisys and we'll show you these different methods. Okay, the first option we're going to take a look at is the configuration settings. So under the tools menu in the Petrisys main launcher, you have the ability to edit your user settings, your project settings and your site settings. For purposes of this demo, I'm just going to take a look at the site settings. And under map templates, you'll find a styles, extent and general tab. All right, we're gonna have a look at the styles tab here. There's a few options that you can toggle on and off depending on what you want to do with your templates and who you want to be able to edit and access them. You have the option to enforce use of standard templates. So this means that you can limit the templates that your users have access to. They won't be able to create new templates for themselves or edit the templates that already exist. You can also disallow changes to standard templates, which means they cannot edit templates that already exist. You also have the option to hide the default Petrisys templates. So this option hides all the Petrisys templates that come with Petrisys by default and only allows the other standard templates to be viewed. If you click on enforce use of standard templates, it instantly enables the two other options here. If you toggle off, then these can independently be turned on and off. One thing to note, if you are an administrator when it comes to mapping templates, if the enforce of a use standard templates option is ticked, this does not apply to you and you will be able to edit all of the standard templates. Something else to note under the styles tab is that you have the ability to add a custom location. So this will be out width of the project, out width of your own drives, out width of the Petrisys local area, you can supply an add under here, give it a name and add a new location and this will allow you to look elsewhere for templates that you might have saved. Under extent, same, you can add custom um, extent locations under here and under general, you can turn off the auto scan subdirectories by default. But the main tab that you should be worried about when it comes to administrating your map templates is the styles one here. So when you've selected the options that suit your situation, click OK. And the next thing we're going to take a look at is administrative group permissions. So under the project selector, there's an advanced tool here in administration. Now, again, for the purposes of this demo, I've created some additional users and I've also created a new group called Map Template Administrators. Now, you don't need to do this. You can already apply Map Template Administrator rights to an existing group of users. So under Groups here, my new group that's been created, the option that you're looking for is Map Templates Administer Map Templates. Now, this allows you to give certain permissions to certain users that will allow them to have admin rights over all of your map templates. Any users in groups that do not have this toggled on will be subject to the options that you, you chose under the configuration settings in the tools menu. So once you're happy you've created any new groups and added any new users to your groups, remember to toggle it on, click apply and OK and those users are now able to administer map templates. Okay, so the third option we're going to take a look at is within Petrisys mapping itself. So as previously seen in the previous webinars, this is where you will find all your editing options for your map templates. So we have an extent menu here, and we also have a style menu here. And we're going to have a look at the style menu first. So under style, if you scroll down, you'll find template manager. So under this window here, this is a list of all our available style templates. So we have the system ones at the top here. These are the default ones that come with Petrisys. 
and we've also got two at the bottom that I've created myself, one that's been saved to my project and one that's been saved to the site. So the options at the bottom here are what we're going to use to manage our templates in the mapping window. So the first button we have here is copy. Now this option is going to allow us to copy a style from one location to another. So in this case I can copy my site webinar style and save it to a project for example or I could save it to a user level. I can also rename them doing this. Click OK when I'm happy. If I look down I've now got a user level style as well as my site and my project which already existed. I can also rename so if I click on the one I've just created, if I change it to rename, I can add test to the end there. So it's still the exact same style, I've just renamed it. Now if I decide that I don't want that style anymore, I've got the option to delete. I've also got the option to move. Now this is very similar to the copy option except this doesn't copy the style, this actually moves it from one location to another. So again we've got the location drop down so I could move it from the project to the site or to the user. I've also got the option to change the description. Most of these styles have a description so the default ones have a description built in and as do some of the ones I've already added myself. If I wanted to, I can change these using the change description. The final option is import, and this is how I would import old map sheets from my old project, my sheet.dev file, into my Petrus's Pro map templates. Now if I go back up to my map template menu, Scroll down you'll see under extent there's also a template manager option here. So this is a pretty similar window to that for the styles. It's got the location of each of the extents, in this case there's site, project and users. And again I have the copy, rename, delete, move, change description and import options. The amount of editing permissions that you're going to have for the extent manager and the style manager is going to depend on the administration permissions that have already been set up in any other settings that have been activated under the config option. And one final thing just to say before we leave the mapping window is obviously the edit option. Now, most people probably will not have to come in here and will not have to do any editing to any of the templates but if you do as previously shown in some of the other webinars this is how you edit your map templates again save a style template got the option to save it to project site or user give it a name and description and this is how you create and edit current and new map templates Okay, so that's us looked at the different methods available for setting up your administration permissions and how you edit and administer your map templates in Petrasys. I'm just going to go back to my presentation. Okay, we'll just have a little bit of a summary about map template management. So setting up your corporate standards, why do you want to do this? So it allows you to create a small set of map styles and extents which can be applied to a large set of maps. So this is completely different from how map sheets worked where you'd have hundreds of different map sheets and not as many maps. In this case, you can have a small number of styles that can be applied to hundreds of different maps. The administration can be limited to a small number of users, but everyone can use them. So not everybody has to know how to create map styles and map extents, they just need to know how to use them and put them on their map. Okay, and that's how you manage your map templates in Petasys. Now, thank you for your attention. And um, we'll just have a quick look into the, the text box and see if anyone has any questions. If you think of a question after the webinar has finished, then please feel free to contact support at petrasys.com.au or you can give us a call on the support helpline. 
We also now have our client portal which you can access through the website or through the address seen here at the bottom of the slide. Under here there are a few options available to you and um, under the Learn tab there are some how-to workflows that you can download and use with your data. This is the last webinar in the series. You may also find the other webinars on our webpage and also on our YouTube channel.